This interesting army was prepared to defeat Hitler, the enemy, all the way back in World War II. Thank God they were not given the chance. Hello guys, welcome, or if you've already seen my channel before, welcome back. I am the Philadelphia Hoovian, and once again, stepping away from my normal subject matter to talk about something entirely different, and this time it's about the, I believe, 1980s BBC comedy of Dad's Army. Yeah. And I believe this was written by the talented writers of Jimmy Perry and David Croft, and I believe it also starred Arthur Lowe, John Le Messerier, Okay, guys, don't get me lying. I'm bad with pronunciation. John Miss Le Miss. John Le Miss. See, I said it. I just said it so low you couldn't hear me. Ha ha. Also starred Clive Dunn. Also, it starred many, many, many actors, but guys, God knows I don't have the ability nor the memory to think of all those names. A lot of really talented men and talented women worked on this production. All right. And again, Dad's Army is a, group, is a story about a group of a dim-witted home guard platoon, Walmington on Sea. And there are a bunch of mostly older guys, I mean, again, there's a couple of younger guys, but mostly older guys, who are in an Army Home Guard Regiment to, you know, defend Walmington on Sea against Hitler. And at least all these shenanigans that could put them into trouble um, or lead to just, again, some just hilarious situations where they are ill-equipped for what they are doing, but they do it anyway, and they do it strong and do it proud, and it, again, leads to a lot of humor along the way. Now, when it comes to this, um, I admit, I only have, um, th I don't know if it's the full, complete season. I have three discs, which includes a lot of episodes. I don't know if it's the entire show, though. But I believe this one I went for, what, for three years, etc. and so forth? Let me know in the comment section in case I'm wrong about that. But again, Dead Army. So Captain Man Waring is the captain, I believe, of the crew, again, played by Arthur Lowe, who does a very good job, and John Lis. <laughs> is his second in command, and I believe he was also in the Pink Panther, but I could be wrong about that. Let me know in the comment section if I'm totally wrong about that. Again, lots of great actors. The comedic t abilities of these actors is astoundingly good. They're very seasoned, clearly veteran actors, and the writing, I believe, again, Jimmy Perry and David Croft, I believe, are the writers. If so, they're very, very good. The amount of comedy they're able to produce and reproduce consistently is actually very, very impressive. I admit when I was recommended to see Dad's Army, again, I admit when I did start watching it, the first two episodes did not really convince me that this was a great show. Guilty as charged, I admit it took a while for me to warm up to it. But then the person who did recommend it to me, he said, actually, the first two episodes were episodes he didn't really like either. He said, just you keep watching it and then, you know, you will like it. Thank God I did that, and thank you for telling me that, because the first two episodes, I admit, I was like, okay, it's not bad, but it's not something I'm really that interested in at the same time. But that being said, again, faith and keep going strong, because as the show progressed, the comedy got ex insanely stronger with each episode. And by the time it got down to like the fourth episode, the comedy was just golden. Hence why it's called a, a, B, a BBC gold production. Mm -hmm. Alright, okay, now. So when it comes to, I'm not going to, the stories, I'm not going to rank them all because there are just too many stories to absolutely rank. Dear God, a lot of great stories were in this huh, set. Again, three discs and a lot of episodes and it was well spent time. So, what are some of my favorites? Okay, there was Asleep in the Deep, Boots, 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 Big Guns, The Bullet Is Not For Firing, I like that one too, definitely. Mom's Army, <laughs> oh that was kind of romantic too, that was a, yeah, was a little bit romantic, um, Put That Light Out, <laughs> The Two and a Half Feathers, The Test, Fallen Idol, The Deadly Attachment, If the Cat Fits, The Honorable Man, yeah that was a good one too, um, and Menace from the Deep. A lot of incredibly, you know, great, great, great episodes. Um, one of my favorites also is when they got trapped in, like, this... Because I think it was, like, very, like, in the fourth episode or something. Because I admit, I can't always remember what happens in these episodes. I just wrote down which ones I liked and that I remembered. One where they are completely trapped inside this building. It's about them trying to escape the building. And the water keeps rising. Like, they busted a pipe or something, and the water keeps rising. And the foolish things the captain 
says, like, to the youngest guy, like, they're not going to allow him to sit on a higher, a higher place to dry off because, like, well, you're already wet. And then it says they have to hold his hand there to keep the water from coming in. It's like, yeah, that's going to stop anything. Come on, man. Come on. And the Captain Man wearing is like, please hold my hand. It's just a, a lot of fun, fun, fun bits. With the Honorable Man, you find out that, um... The second in command, you know, um, John Lemire, sorry, oh, God, I'm bad with last names, um, turns out he's in the honorable person. He's raised up in rank because of his uncle who left no children behind. And so you see that situation. You see Clive Dunn's character, I believe, is the butcher, and, um, he has, he gets, con he con is convinced by another person to loan his truck to the army <laughs> <laughs> they're seeing where they're talking, he gets, they get, get, like, they're frozen because they're in, like, the meat larder or something, where it's all of the, you know, frozen, frozen meat is, and you see them completely freezing over. It's just a lot of very, very, very fun moments, actually, in this, and again, a very clever, very clever show, and I'm not gonna lie, I was, initially, when I was watching, I was like, okay, this is not that great, but then once I get to the third or fourth episode, no, it really was great. I would recommend, if you do, like, classic comedy, just pure on comedy, definitely give it a go. If you're one of those people who, um, don't like anything that's too male-oriented, then never mind, don't watch it. Because, again, this is about an army. World War Two, In Britain. Home Guard. Of course, there's going to be mostly males in it. So, if that's not your thing, then never mind. But if you like comedy, especially BBC comedy from the 1980s, just, I would say, stick it out. You know, if you like the first two episodes, go ahead. Great. But honestly, if you were not crazy with the first two episodes, like they're okay, but they're not too great to you, keep on watching. Dad's Army is actually pretty darn fantastic. And I did learn a lot as a writer when watching this. So, yeah. Overall, pretty darn good times. And I had a lot of fun watching it. The kind of comedy, you have to really like lean forward and listen. Or you'll miss out on a lot of the humor in this. Because the humor is, again, dialogue-oriented, dialogue-driven. There are funny situations. There are funny actions and activities happening in the stories. But most of the humor is in the jokes. And that's where a lot of the greatness lies. So, it's all about what you feel. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have you seen Dad's Army? Have you not seen Dad's Army? Either way, let me know down in the comment section, and thank you guys for watching a video where a person just sits in front of the camera and just talks. Yes, nothing else but that. That takes some incredible gusto. And thank you so much to the person who recommended this to me. It was I had a fun time watching it. I, admit, I prefer to get shout-outs myself from other people, but I acknowledge... It's not always wisest to mention and give a shout-out to a person's name in case they want you to give them a personal shout-out. So, whoever you are, you know who you are. Thank you so much for recommending this. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you again very soon talking about something completely different. Bye, guys.